So in this video, we're going to talk about how we can record voices and how we can edit and adjust and organize them while we're on iPad or iPhone. The OS is iOS, of course. So first thing you got to do is you got to open up the voice memo uh, app. Now you can search for it by dragging the window down. Voice memo, that's how it's going to look. So we're going to go on voice memo. So as you can see, we have a quite expensive uh, choice of an options here. Uh, obviously, the first thing you want to do is you want to record a v audio. And to, in order to do that, you got to press this little red button right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. And as you can see, it's already started to record. So what you can do is you can record for as long as you want. And then... If for any number of reasons you want to simply stop in the middle, you press this little, this little button right here. So you press pause. So now the recording of the audio has stopped, right? You can go back from a specific time, and then you can record again. So as you can see, my recording at the moment is 21 seconds, right? So I can go back to... 11 and then I can tap on replace and then whatever I've recorded up until 11 will be saved but after that I'm going to replace it so check this out I'm going to play I'm going to tap on replace and now as you can see it's literally being overwritten and copied over as I'm speaking see that when I've spoken there you go as you can see you can pause midway while you're recording something and then you can go back and then you can replace your recording making it even longer once you're done with the recording you want to click on done so as you can see here is our audio file recording 77 I've spoken I've spoken there you go as you can see there you, you can, as you can, see, you can pause. pause so that's that what about the other sections that we have so far? Well, up here we've got edit, so let's check out edit. As you can see, it's exactly very similar to the panel that we had where we went ahead and stopped, or not stopped, we paused in the middle, and then we went, we went ahead and replaced it. So this is basically the edit panel. You can do that if you want to. You have the option to skip 15 seconds forward and backwards, so if you try that, you see, that's if your audio file is way too large, that's specifically going to be handy. If you don't want to make any changes, that's fine. If you want to make changes, you simply go to timestamp you want, you press replace, and then as you can see, again, I am recording as an editing on the original file, but I'm going to stop recording halfway in the middle, and then you're going to press that. So that's how you can, again, re-edit your video. This one is, of course, deleting the file. What about this one? What is this little folder right here? Let's click on this. So, as you can see, it says select a folder. You can select an, an, a number of folders that I've put up here. You can transfer your file to that folder. So I'm going to transfer it to paste. And then now, if you go back again, as you can see, paste has two audios now. If I want to go from paste to test, I'm going to go back to test, and then if we test it again, test has two, paste has one. So that's that. Here you can make, make the audio your favorite. Here we have a share button. You can share your video in, you can share it in a number of ways. You can send it to apps. You can put it up on Dropbox, etc. You can also change the title of your audio. So as you can see, mine is recording. I'm going to say, tutorial so now my video is called tutorial as you can see and then this is gonna help with the search function so I'm gonna go with new and I'm gonna go with tutorial as you can see there's just one which is the audio that we just recorded now uh, what about this little button right here as you can see these these are the categories that you have. So we have the folders that we transfer to, and I'm going to show you how to make one right now. And you also have favorites and recently deleted. 
in case you're not very sure about the recordings that you've deleted, you can go back here and you can restore them. This is all recordings, favorites, and so on. So what about edit? So if you press edit, you can delete these folders or you can rename them. So that's uh, that if you want to. Now, let's go to all recordings. I'm going to show you something else. How do you create a new folder? Some of you ask. Well, we have two options. First is we we so normally this is what we got. So we go here and then you see this little icon right here. You're going to click on that. That's a new folder. So I'm going to say recording teaching, right? So I'm going to recording teaching. And as you can see now we have three folders. How do I transfer my files? To other folders. Well, again, we talked about that. So you 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 go inside the folder, you tap on the audio that you want to transfer, and then you press the tap on the folder, and then from here you click it to the folder you want to go to. So as you can see, that recording seventy six is now here. So this is all there is to recording your voice on. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please make sure to click thumbs up, subscribe to the channel check out similar videos like this if you're interested and if you have any questions ask them in the comments section i will see you later bye bye